Hello, student. As I promising, we will start the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Before starting, before starting the lecture, one flower is always in your mind that is hibiscus or china rose, which are commonly called as gourd. Always in your mind, whatever the flower is there, whatever the things is there, always. Because that was the best example in the sex work flower. Okay. So we have to go to discuss about that sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. First we will discuss about a plant that is flowering plant. Okay. So many things that you already know, many things you are already know, but here I'm going to just recall that all the things. But one by one, we just be in the mind. I'm going to draw a diagram of a typical flower or a buddha. Or in channels. Suppose that It is group of sepals is called calyx. Just imagine it because the dentist is a major innovation. In the real innovation, the question will arise. The the coloring part that is red color or white color or pink color or yellow color, what you see, this coloring part is called corolla. But combination is not called corolla. A single part is called petal. This group of pattern is called corolla. So these are the accessory part. Okay. Okay. These are the accessory part. Okay. This is from the reproductive part. So this is structure. This is structure. This one. This structure is called as called female reproductive organ. Female reproductive organ or pistil or Carpel or so many names are there or but later we will discuss about the other there is no space here. Okay. This structure, this structure is called as male reproductive organ called stem or endosium. So many things are there, but here no steps are there. But later we will discuss one by one. So this is the typical flower. This one is called the diagram. Uh, the diagram is done in the examination. If you draw it, then it will be secure the marks. Okay. This structure is called as epicalyx. This structure is called as epicalyx. Okay. So these are some structures. Are called as a part, as a part of plant. Okay. 
it has a silly part of the card. And that we made that uh, the reproductive organs are called that is reproductive part of the plant. Okay. So so many things are there. We must draw the diagram very carefully. After that, we will discuss later all the things. Okay. Draw it carefully. Draw this diagram. You have to draw this diagram. Okay. Draw this diagram because uh, diagram is very necessary and diagram is very important. Okay, because in some examination the simple diagram will become okay. Now, firstly, firstly we will discuss about the male reproductive organ because one by one we have to know about all the reproductive organs. Okay, male reproductive organ. Listen it very carefully. If we write like this, this is the this is the sign of male, and if we write like this, is sign of female. Okay. The flower in which listen very carefully. The flower in which male and female both parts are present in a single flower. Both parts are present in a single flower. It means male and female. Both part are present in a single flower is called bisexual flower. Bisexual flower. Okay, bisexual. So the question will be arise that uh, name any one bisexual flower. Then the example is that there is China rose or rose, okay, or sunflower or so many so many plants are there which are bisexual. Okay, you have to write it very carefully in that first thing. Second thing is that. This one is the called as complete flower. Complete flower. The question is arise that what is complete flower? The complete flower have calyx plus corolla plus androsium. Androsium means male reproductive organ plus gynosium. Gynosium that is female reproductive organ. If all that four parts are present in a typical flower, then that flower or that plant is called as complete flower. If any single one will be absent in that, that is called as incomplete flower. Okay. The question there are so many times in board examination. The question is arise that, ki name a plant, name a single plant, or give an example of single plant which have both stem and carpel. So you have to write that stamen carpel. Stamen carpel means this one is the male reproductive organ, and that one is the female reproductive. It means it will be asked about the bisexual flower. Okay. Now, come to the male reproductive organ. Male reproductive organ is also called as stamen, stamen, or called as androsium, or called as androsium. Stamen or androsium. Okay. Now, one by one, we have to discuss about the male and female reproductive part. So all the parts are very important. Suppose that this one is the stamen. This one is in some book. It is also called the anthridium. It is also called as anthridium, but it is something it was wrong. Anthridium, but sometimes it was wrong. Okay, but listen very carefully. Only three names you have to know, know about that male reproductive organ is stamen and androsium. Now we have to go into the next one. Stamen. So one by one we will discuss. Suppose that if we draw the diagram of stamen, this one is stamen, this one, this one is called stamen. So we saw that. Simple, you have to draw. Not the typical one. Simple, you have to draw. This is called a stamen. Inside the stamen, some droplets are like a structure or presence. Okay, this is called a stamen. This stamen are divided into two parts. The longitudinal part is called filament. Filament. Okay. This one is called anther. 
और इन सम बुक इट वॉज राइट दैट इज एंथर लोब एंथर लोब दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंथर लोब इन बिटवीन दैट टू एंथर लोब वन इज वन स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रेजेंट इज कॉल्ड एज कनेक्टिव कनेक्टिव इन साइड द एंथर लोब सो मेन ड्रॉपलेट्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर आर प्रेजेंट दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉल्ड एज फॉल एंड ग्रेन is called as pollen grain in your syllabus in your syllabus that is it will be written about that one pollen grain structure if you saw the one pollen grain structure we have to going to discuss it very carefully listen very carefully if you saw the a pollen grain structure a pollen grain this structure of stamen this structure of stamen a pollen grain if you saw the more pollen grain one pollen grain have a pollen grain have covered a two layer pollen grain have covered a two layer okay this is the structure of a pollen grain okay this is the structure of a typical pollen grain pollen grain is uh, made up of two layer that is outer layer is rough that is called as exine that is rough one and inner layer is called in time that is smooth one okay at the place at some place of exine there is a pore that is a gap is called as germ pore germ pore in some examination in ntsc olympiad examination it will be asked that where the germ pore is present so you have to write that in the layer of exine you have it will be ticked as you have plotted that in layer of exine inside the inside that in time a two tap like it means lattu like structure are present that is called that is male gamete male gamete okay after reaching of this pollen grain after reaching at the uh, tip of this female pore, that is stigma okay here the structure you know but later we will discuss okay after reaching so this is the layer of exine okay this is the layer of exine suppose that here is the germ pore here the germ pore is present here the here is the germ pore is present so a tube like structure will be arises from that a tube like structure will be arises from the germ pore a tube this entine this is entine part entine part have helped the formation of a tube this is called as pollen tube pollen tube this is called as pollen tube in this this pollen tube this male gamete will be reaches here male gamete and that pollen tube will be just ejected with the from the germ pore germ pore so this is the typical diagram of a uh, that is pollen grain or male reproductive organ the second one that is the female reproductive organ female reproductive organ that is most important because one structure is very popular popular what i why i am telling that it was a very popular structure because in all the examination whatever in the 12th class also that diagram is there okay so one by one you see here if just we saw the diagram of that one suppose that this one is the thalamus okay okay this the structure okay here one ovule is present okay this is the structure 
this structure is called as stigma that you already know this longitudinal structure is called as style and this one is called as ovary inside the ovary a ovule is present like that inside the anther lobe pollen grains are present similarly this was inside the ovary ovule is present one ovule diagram is important to you this is called as thalamus thalamus because this one is the important one okay now we have to going to know about the a uh, and ovule the structure an ovule structure means listen very carefully if you saw an ovule structure there are so many types of ovule but similar but basically in your syllabus that is only the anatropous ovule is there this is structure if you draw the one diagram this is somewhat the diagram of typical ovule okay here there are so many cells are present in that first we said very carefully bit after that we will go to labeling three cells are there here one cell but two nucleus are there here three cells here here also this is a typical diagram of an ovule okay this pore this pore is called as micro pilar end micro pilar end okay and the opposite of that micro pilar this is called as chalazal end chalazal end that is called as chalazal simple okay this layer and this layer okay or in this layer also called as integument integument outer middle and inner integument three or four layer whatever the layer protection it will be help in the only help in the protection but here is that only that one that is outer middle or inner layer okay inside that this structure is called as nucellus nucellus not nucleus that is nucellus okay okay now come to the cells structure that is most important these three cells are called antipodal cell antipodal cells this cell is called polar or secondary nuclei why it was called nuclei because here not nucleus nucleus is not present nucleus will be just uh, present in the two part that is one one is the second one it's is called as single nuclei these two cells that is this one and this one these two cells are called synergid synergid cell and this cell is called egg cell or female gamete here that is male gamete and here that is female gamete so this one is the typical diagram of an ovule which one is most and most important okay this is called as hillus or funicle funicle you write that funicle okay that later we will discuss okay so this one is the diagram of that which one is the most and most important because in maximum examination the question will be arise that okay now basically what thing will be do suppose that this one this ovule is present here okay and male gamete is present and next the first the pollen grain will be present uh, come here and later it will be transferred that male gamete and we, here it is fusion is that okay so 
now we have to discuss about the pollination after that we will discuss about the fertilization okay pollination pollination you already know in seventh class that is pollination simple is that one question later that i will give the question one question is that suppose that pollination first first we know about the pollination 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 simple is that what suppose that okay here this one is the anther lobe inside the anther lobe pollen grain is present this pollen grain will be reaches at the tip of the stigma okay this is, is called as pollination it means transfer of pollen grain transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma that is called as what pollination simple is simply okay suppose that suppose that one plant one gudhal plant or one uh, any plant suppose that this one is the flower and here is also a flower and here is same plant same plant suppose that this one is also gudhal this one is also gudhal so this one is also a flower okay so some condition will be there suppose that here its pollen grain will be transferred to the same stigma one condition second condition is then this pollen grain with the help of air wind or insects or human being it will be transferred to the different flower of the same plant okay or it will be transferred to the different plant of the same kind flower three condition will be there first condition the flower, the pollen grain will be transferred to the same flower stigma pollen grain will be tra transferred to the different flower of the same plant stigma theek okay? hai pollen grain will be transferred from the different uh, uh, from the same kind plant but to the different uh, plant of the flower okay so these are some points okay these are some points now we have to going to discuss about now we have to go into discuss about all the things listen very carefully here you see that the same transfer of pollen grain to the same flowers stigma is called as self pollination self pollination it means self pollinate okay self pollinate okay second thing is that if the definition will be very clear the transfer of pollen grain to the same flowers stigma transfer of flower pollen grain to the same flowers stigma that is called as self pollination okay second thing is that transfer of pollen grain to the different flower of the same plant transfer of pollen grain to the different flower of the same plant or different flower of the same of the same kind of plants is called cross pollination okay so these are some condition that is uh, so cross pollination and self pollination okay so simple is that that is no problem in that self pollination and cross pollination okay now come to the next one next one is very simple listen very carefully here i am going to erase it because one by one we have to discuss okay now aha uh -huh. suppose that suppose that this is the structure of a thalamus and here this is the part okay and here is the 
over it. Okay, so so many pollen grain will be here. So many pollen grain will be stick on the wall of a stigma. Pollination will be completed. Pollination will be completed. Pollination is completed now. But from that, only one pollen grain will be active, and rather all the pollen grain will be destroyed or that the destroyed pollen grain will be give energy to that pollen grain whatever is that but here you see that to one of the pollen grain the diagram is very important well listen very clear diagram is very important because in so many the examination it will be asked suppose that this is the diagram one pollen grain is active one pollen grain is active active pollen grain active pollen okay to so that pollen grain at the formation of pollen tube later we will already we will discuss pollen tube this is the formation of pollen tube okay now next one next one that is big diagram i will draw i am going to draw it because that one is the most important diagram suppose that here is the structure of an ovule okay the pollen grain which was enter here is just injected here the pollen grain which was enter here is just entry to the micropylar end and the male gamete and the male gamete first male gamete is just stick to the female uh, female gamete and second one is the secondary nuclei okay first this one is the pollen tube pollen tube the first male gamete is fused to the second secondary nuclei and second one is fused to the female gamete okay so if we draw the if we just see the structure what are the structure in that listen very carefully simple structure simple structure you saw first that structure is most important you have to draw it very carefully because in so many examination that structure will come okay so what is that suppose that first male gamete first male gamete suppose that the first male gamete is fused to the axon axon or female gamete to so gamete is that is means n number is gamete is that that is n number because in nine, in eighth class that you already know that is a sperm and the o ovary sorry o ovum that is n number that is 2n that is half number okay if it was fused there there will be occur that is fertilization okay into the formation of zygote later that zygote is developed into embryo embryo is developed into the seed or flower or fruit or whatever is that okay first thing second thing suppose that this one is the second male gamete second male gamete second male gamete is fused to the secondary nuclei secondary nuclei we have to write down n plus n because two nucleus two nucleus two half of nucleus are there so we have to write n plus n not 2n because the nucleus are separated 
so we will write n plus n so gamete is n after the fusion it form endosperm endosperm that is 3n and here that is 2n 2n and 2n okay because this, this one is the fuse that is 2n this one is the fuse that is 3n okay the best example is coconut coconut the white is the white suppose that if you uh, if you buy a coconut inside the coconut some uh, some water will be there that that water is that endosperm that water is endosperm and the whitest part is called as seed or embryo okay suppose that that coconut will be just growth the proper growth will be there okay you see you saw that uh, the best example is in your home there is some yag yag or havan will be there okay so in that cases you have to you have to use some dry coconut or big one inside that no water will be there because that the developing seed use all the endosperm because endosperm has so many nutrients endosperm that the liquid part of coconut that have so many nutrients so the developing part of the seed will be absorb all the nutrient from the endosperm all the nutrients from the endosperm and it will be developed so here you see that first thing is that here you see one time fusion is there one time fusion is there two times fusion is there first it will be fused to this one after that it will be fused it to this one and here it will be fused to this one so here two times fusion here one time fusion total fusion is three times so it is called as triple fusion triple fusion triple fusion triple fusion okay but here you see that one fertilization is here because this one is the female part one fertilization is here and here is the second fertilization the two fertilization it means double fertilization double fertilization so here you see that the two triple fusion and double fertilization so here we told that is this name was given by s j nawashi S. J. Nawashin, the scientist is there, the S. J. Nawashin, okay, that the given the structure that is triple fusion and double fertilization, okay. So, this, these are some points, okay. So, most important that is this, this one is the sexual reproduction in the flowering plant. Most important thing is that double fertilization and triple fusion because the diagram is very important in that, diagram is most and most important. so many things will be you, you see that is pollination fertilization difference between pollination and fertilization will become okay so many things will be there so first you will write it carefully all the things triple fusion and double fertilization okay important one 